this farmer had 600 peaches. So this 600 represent the total that he had. All right? Which is our 100%. The next line, 8% of them were rotten. This them, what does it represent? The peaches, the 600, right? So if I want to find rotten, following what we have here, 8% of the peaches. To find the rotten, 8%, I put it, 8 out of 100. The dam over here, like what we said, is 600, right? So you just put in the 600. The rotten ones will actually be 48. Okay? So these rotten ones, they were actually thrown away. So thrown away, what will happen to your total? You got to minus it, right? So when you actually subtract it away, this will then be your so-called remainder. Understand? Which is mentioned in the next line. That's why here, I will put in remainder. 600 minus the 48. So throw away, now you are left with this 552. Alright? So this 552, what did he do to it? He sold 75% of the remainder. So how do we find the amount that he sold? Alright, using the same way as how we do this to find the rotten, right? We will also take 75% convert into a fraction of times our remainder, which is here. Alright, so 75 out of 100 times 552, you will get 414. Alright? Okay. Unsold peaches. How do I find my unsold? Since they mentioned unsold, how do I find my unsold. Okay, 552 minus 414, 138. So this 138 that are unsold, what he's going to do with them now is to put into two boxes. Alright? So, 38 more pictures in the big box than the small box. Alright? Uh, I show in terms of a model first, alright? I think this one most of you can understand how to do. Okay? But I'll put it big and small. A simple model. 38, it's more than the small one. Right? And this total is... One, three, eight. Of course, usually the way that you all will do, right, is take away the extra, right? Take away already, then two of the equal ones, then you divide by two, right? But if you look at this, what are you trying to find? You're trying to find the numbers in the big one, right? If you do minus, then you do divide. After that, you still need to add back. Alright, so that is actually an additional step. But in this case, if since I want to find the big one, another way that I can do is what? If I don't do the minus, what can I do? Alright, you don't minus, you can actually plus. Plus by how much? 38. Why plus this 38? Plus this 38 means that I make this to be the same. So when I plus the 38, make this the same already, after that I divide by 2, I get the answer directly. Alright, understand? So this is being flexible. We can do the minus way or we can do the plus way. 
Alright, but if you cannot understand by the plus way or you think that it's more difficult, then you just do the usual minus way. Alright, so we will take the 138 plus 38, 176 for two of the big equal one, right? So if I want to find one of the big one, I will just divide by two. And the answer will be 88. All right. For the purpose of your homework, question 8, right, will definitely not be like this. Question 8, maybe it's just around here only, a few steps only. All right, that's why it's not that difficult. Okay? Okay, now the last one that we're going to do. Okay, a farmer has 1,200 animals on his farm. So again, this 1,200 is the total. The hundred percent. All right. And the next line, twenty percent of them are chicken. This them is the the animals, the one thousand two hundred, right? So you can see the same way that I did previously for just now that question, right? I can also do it here also. If I want to find the number of chicken, I can take twenty percent times. The 1,200. Alright? Okay? So, to find the number of chickens, two hundred and forty. Alright? And the next line again, what did they mention? Remainder, right? So since I mentioned remainder, how do I find my remainder? Remainder means should it include the chicken. The remainder has chicken there or not? No, right? So how do I find remainder? Alright, so the 1,200 minus the 240 Remainder is 960. And for the ducks, it's 65%, right? So again, the same way, what? 65% of the remainder. So 65% times 960. I will get the number of ducks. Hundred and twenty-four. Okay, and this happened to be your answer for part A. Alright, six hundred and twenty-four. If you look at the next line, the rest are count. How do I find the, num the number for the count? 960 minus 624. But part B asks for the percentage of the farm animals that are count. So if I ignore the word percentage, I ask, what fraction of the farm animals are count? Good. Alright. So if I change it to fraction, counts will be our numerator. Requirement is the numerator. Denominator is always the total. And our total here is the 1,200. So I create the fraction first. So now if you want to find percentage, if you have fraction and you need to find percentage, what will you need to do? Times 100%. Alright, that's why I said always remember to do it this way. Take the fraction times 100%. Whatever question they ask you for percentage, you the first thing you should do is create fraction. After that, once you get the fraction, then you times by the 100%. Get it? So, this will be for part B. And the answer for this will be 28%.
All right. So on the blank below, please write 624 for part A and 28% for part B. Understand this? All right.